Let's talk about the genitive case and its plural forms. We'll talk about noun endings, adjective endings and genitive prepositions. When talking about plural forms in a genitive case, we can create two categories, one for masculine and the other for feminine and neuter nouns. When we talk about plural forms in a genitive case, we don't have a distinction between masculine animate and masculine inanimate. However, we still have two endings to be applied, oof and why I. How do we know which endings go where? Let's look at noun endings. If a masculine noun ends in a hard consonant, don't panic, a hard consonant is a standard looking letter, usually. So if a word ends in something ordinary, a letter without an apostrophe, such as b, d, f, ch, w, m, n, p, s, t, v, z, r, k, g, plus three soft consonants, such as c, z, and y, our masculine noun will take the ending oof. We apply y or i when we see something crazy at the end of the word, meaning soft consonants, such as sh, ch, d, zh, zh, xi, qi, ji, zi, ni, l, c, z, y. We can cross the c, z and y because these will end up in the oof category. So minus three soft consonants, c, z and y. So in this masculine category, we have endings y and i. So when pluralizing in a genitive case, i is usually applied to apostrophe letters to make the sound even softer. So if a word ends with a Polish apostrophe letter, it will take the ending i. Next category, feminine and neuter nouns. This is very easy to remember. As to create a plural form in a genitive case, we cut the last letter off. So very easy. Rodzina becomes rodzin. Miasto becomes miast. So we can actually see how easy this is. All we have to be careful with is this masculine category. In reality, this is easier than you imagine. Let's see the examples. Let's deal with the masculine category first. To help us out, we have our hard and soft consonants in the left corner of the board. To ensure that nouns are in a genitive case, we'll use the genitive case prepositions, such as od, do, dla, blisko, podczas, naprzeciwko, and so on. Let's make our sentences richer by adding adjectives. This is very easy because all adjectives in the plural forms, regardless of gender, will end in ich or ich. Let's look at some examples. Strażak. Strażak ends in a hard consonant. K is a very normal looking letter. Hence the ending, you guessed it, uf. Kwiaty są dla przystojnych strażaków. All plural adjectives in the genitive case will obtain the ending ich or ich. Let's look at our next example. Let's focus on a masculine noun. Pies becomes psów. Pies ends with a regular looking letter, which is a hard consonant, hence it will take the ending uf. Koty są blisko czarnych psów. 
Again, when describing a plural noun in the genitive case, we'll apply the ending ich to an adjective. Let's look at our next plural masculine noun, dom, domów. Dom ends in a regular looking letter, meaning hard consonant. Sklepy są koło dużych domów. Again, when describing a plural noun in the genitive case, we'll apply the ending ich to an adjective. Let's look at a noun that ends in a soft consonant, an apostrophe letter or two letters together. Digraphs in English. Lekarz. The soft consonant R and Z, pronounced Z, takes the ending Y. Pomoc jest od odważnych lekarzy. Let's look at one more noun that ends in a soft consonant. Nauczyciel. Nauczyciel ends in L, which is a soft consonant. We have to be careful here because L is actually a regular looking letter but still a soft consonant. The soft consonant L, like the apostrophe letters, takes the ending I. Podziękowania są dla dobrych nauczycieli. A describing adjective in a genitive case will take the ending ich or ich. Let's move on to feminine and neuter nouns. Of course you know how to identify feminine and neuter nouns. Feminine nouns usually end with A. Neuter nouns usually end with E or O. So to pluralize these in the genitive case, we cut the last letter off. A describing adjective in a genitive case will take the ending ich or ich. Rodzina. We will become rodzin. Te domy są dla małych rodzin. Rodzina will lose the vowel when pluralized in the genitive case. Dla małych rodzin. Next one. Kobieta. Kobiet. Kwiaty. Są dla pięknych kobiet. Kobieta, a feminine noun, will lose the vowel when pluralized in the genitive case. The describing adjective takes the ending ich. Pięknych kobiet. Next up, a feminine noun, szafa, becomes szaf. Drzwi. Są do drewnianych szaf. Szafa, a feminine noun, will lose the vowel when pluralized in the genitive case. They describe an adjective ich, drewnianych szaf. Neuter nouns work identically to feminine nouns. To pluralize in a genitive case, we need to cut the last vowel off. Drzewo becomes drzew. Rzeka jest blisko. Wysokich drzew. The describing adjective takes the ending ich. Wysokich drzew. Another example. Miasto. Let's lose the O and we'll end up with miast. Mapa jest bez starych miast. The describing adjective takes the ending ich. Starych miast. Well done. Excellent job. Up next, the accusative case. Noun endings, adjective endings, verbs. Private lessons are available upon request. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do widzenia. Cześć.